Today I've got a heartfelt message about getting to know your independent bike dealer. Hi, it's John and welcome to Cycling on a Shoestring, just out in my uh, shop right now, working on my old road bike, which is really the uh, inspiration behind this video today. I bought this bike almost 30 years ago from my friend Cookie, who uh, owns Cal Rim Cycles and Sports in Cornwall, Ontario. Now, Cookie is retiring after about five decades in the bike business. It might even be longer than that. And I wanted to talk a little bit about your independent bike dealer or your local bike shop. You know, I think I'm guilty, like many people these days, uh, we look for an easy way and a cheap way of buying things. And hey, listen, I run to my PC, I run to my tablet, I do orders online, it comes right to my house, I might save myself a few bucks. But I've always been a proponent of getting to know your local bike shop dealer. Now I'm talking not necessarily about the really big shops, which are fantastic, don't get me wrong. They've got lots of employees, they've got lots of stock, and they've got lots of options for you there if you're buying bicycles. But even in a big city like Calgary, we've got some smaller shops here where you go into the shop and more often than not that person who is selling the bike is the one that's fixing your bike as well. And that's what my friend Cookie was like. His family owned the bike shop. His white wife, Betty, who passed away many years ago, she was helping out at the shop and his son, Corey, as well. But Cookie was the guy. You went in to talk about bikes, Cookie would sell it to you. And if you ever brought it back to the shop and needed some fixing, he'd be doing that as well. If you have a small shop in your town, go in there and talk to the person who's in the store. There might be one or two employees there, and very often it's quiet, and you might get some tips on how to fix your bikes. I've got all these tools behind me, because my friend Cookie, who is a dear, dear friend of mine, showed me how to fix things. And I'm talking about cycling on a shoestring budget here, and really, you can save so much money if you can repair your own bike and just do that minor maintenance on your bike on a regular basis. You know, a few years ago, and I did a video here on my channel called My Bottom Bracket Nightmare. You might want to watch that, but I was really worried about that situation on my bike. I called up my friend Cookie. He told me how to do it, and he said I could do it. Now, why am I fixing this bike right now? Well, the reason is this bike is going on 30 years old and recently I ride this bike back and forth to work every weekend as a commuter and my free hub went on this bicycle. I called around to some shops here in Calgary. They said, oh, well, we don't know. Bring your wheel in. I, I didn't want to do that. So I called up Cookie. What does Cookie do? He sends me exactly what I needed, a seven speed free hub in the mail and now I can fix my bike and get this one back on the road. I also think of another bike shop dealer that I deal with quite a lot. You might see his gear that I'm, when I'm riding on this uh, channel and I do rides from Blackwell Cycle, my friend James Grant in Sarnia, Ontario. You go in there, James is selling the bikes, he's also fixing them as well, and he always sets me up with a bike when I go back to my hometown in Sarnia, Ontario. So just give that some thought. The next time you're making an order online, Drop into your local bike shop, get to know that mechanic, get to know that person uh, selling you something, and I'll bet you they'd be willing to talk to you and help you out a little bit. I hope this was a helpful video to you, certainly something to think about. And if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel as well, ring the bell for notifications. We're working on 2,000 subscribers now. We'll see you next time on Cycling on a Shoestring.